a U.S. Navy pilot who first spotted UFO seen in videos claims that it is the start of War of the Worlds. Assuming that these are, of course, out of this world, the world is still adjusting to the discovery that the Pentagon maintained a secret UFO program for over the past half a decade. Emboldened by the news, many UFO enthusiasts and genuine experts have begun weighing in on the matter. They're arguing either for or against the existence of these extraterrestrial alien visitors that the U.S. government is so eager to study. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence suggesting that UFOs really are the result of highly advanced technology comes in the form of footage from two F-A-18F Super Hornets who in 2004 spotted a white tic-tac-shaped aircraft off the coast of San Diego. In footage that's been made public, the pilots involved note uh, that the uh, UFO is flying into the wind there before rotating while no more are seen in the video. The pilots claim they can see a whole fleet of similar UFOs on a scanner. Now, no doubt, as a result of the increased media attention following the Pentagon revelation, one of the pilots who spotted the Tic Tac UFO has spoken out with a chilling warning for humanity. According to the now former U.S. Navy pilot David Fravor, the joke's over. UFOs are not funny anymore. He says, I think the story needs to be told. We need to stop making jokes and start paying attention to it. It is not a U.S. problem. It is a global issue. Well, you know, we know U.S. Form UFOs, have, UFOs have been spotted everywhere in the world. As some people have even taken pictures of what they believe are aliens pe pe peeking through the window at us from the UFOs. So this is a global issue. Why aren't we investigating these things, he says. If it's like E.T., then it's all good. If it's like War of the Worlds or Independence Day, then not so much. Our technology is way, way behind. I know what I saw. Oh, yeah, it reacted to us, he says. Fravor seems emphatic in his assertion that he really did see a mysterious, highly advanced alien spacecraft, he's not the only official military personnel to make such a claim, and based on his own knowledge and experience with aircraft, his, seldom, his solemn word carries weight when he swears that the Tic Tac UFO was real. He said there's no shortage of people who are ready to poke holes in this argument and suggest alternative explanations for the footage shown, Noted UFO skeptic Mick West has given an alternative explanation for the footage, suggesting that what appears to be a mysterious craft is simply caused by the effects of camera trickery, either thanks to accidental misuse of filming equipment or deliberate attempt to make something relatively mundane look more otherworldly. Similarly, another expert has debunked a photograph that has done the rounds with people claiming it was taken at the same time. In reality, according to UFO expert Steve Mara, this photo was taken in Manchester, England, 2005. The subject of the photo, a novelty helium balloon in the shape of a number one. It's likely that the debate over San Diego incident is going to rage for the foreseeable future. As with all similar accounts of UFOs, the footage is too grainy and limited to definitively prove what's going on. For now, we're all entitled to believe what we wish about the Tic Tac UFO, but it's worth bearing in mind that if David Fravor is correct, and this is the first warning sign of an outcoming War of the Worlds, quote unquote, there'll be no shortage of smug UFO truthers ready to point out that they were right while we are all being melted down into alien snack foods. This is by Matthew Lothagen from Outer Places on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.